Hey folks, my name is Austin. I'm here with Southwest Florida Auto. Today we're taking a look at our 2005 Nissan Sentra. It's kind of a tan color, gray, um, somewhere in there, color. Um, excellent, excellent condition. Body's in great shape. No dings, dents, scrapes, rust, any of that bad stuff. Headlights are in great shape. Um, hood's in great shape, as well as the front bumper and grille. Okay, as we make our way around to the other side, you'll see that the tires are in decent condition. They're getting a little low. Um, probably about 30% life left on the tread there. So that's something to consider. As well as this side of the car, there's no real dents. There is one small ding um, here, probably where it was in the garage and a little bicycle handlebar fell over and tapped it. Or in a parking lot, maybe a, uh, you know, shopping cart, something like that. Nothing major. Definitely things you expect, kind of expect on a uh, 2005. The only other real damage here is on the rear bumper. Um, there's some sun damage down here on the bottom. Um, this is the 1.8 liter um, Sentra. Excellent little car. Definitely gets great gas mileage. Um, so that's that for the exterior. Let's hop on into the interior now. Show you, it's definitely a well-maintained, at least on the inside. Um, for the cloth interior, excellent, excellent condition. The carpets aren't ripped, torn, neither is any of the upholstery in the seats. The door panels also in great shape. Okay, so we get into the front, you'll see it's in just as good a condition. Um, front upholstery in great shape, Oop, little leaf. Um, other than that, it looks pretty darn good. The headliner's in great shape, it's not all coming down, yada yada. The dashboard also, not all sun damaged, anything like that. There is a small piece of trim missing up front here. Definitely where it hinges um, for the glove box here up top for extra storage. Um, this glove box, great shape, opens and closes like it should. Original owner's manual. Um, power doors, power windows, um, power locks. Mm. Eh, not power seats though. You see down here, you have to do the little lift and pull. Ice cold air conditioning, aftermarket stereo. Um, definitely gotta have the air, air conditioning. It's, it's a necessity down here in Florida, unfortunately. Um, but it works, cranks cold air just like it should. Let me turn it on for you, show you how many miles are on the car. Starts up good, idles nice. 121,779 miles. So, power steering's in great shape, brakes are in great shape. Um, it's, a, it's a great running little car, It'd make a great daily driver. Um, if you come by today, it looks like you get almost three quarter tank of gas, so that's good. Um, glove box, great shape, plenty of storage space, definitely all around. Um, like I said, good headliner, everything like that. Now let me go ahead and op pop the hood on this car. Cause it's pretty quiet, probably can't hear it running right now. Okay, where is it here? There it is. So the air compressor kicked on for the AC. Aside from that, there's really no hissing to be heard. Great little four cylinder motor, run forever. Um, Decently new bat newer battery, still cranks pretty well. Um, starts up first try, all that good stuff. Okay, so that's that. Again, I'm Austin. I'm here with Southwest Florida Auto. Thanks for watching the video. Um, if you'd like to see a list of our full inventory, there's a link to our website in the comments section below, as well as some other contact information if you're trying to find out more about this particular vehicle. So, thank you for watching.